SpaceX is building a brand new Starship launch pad. It's now planning with NASA to explore a new one. A good chunk of the focus for both will be on operations for its Starship. Bigger rockets and bigger engines mean that the current launch pads need to be able to handle the extra thrust. Dr. Don Platt is a space systems professor at the Florida Tech campus near the Kennedy Space Center. Of course, to get anything to Mars, you need a really big rocket, Platt said. Elon Musk has been building the supersized rocket Starship, making the new launch pad upgrades necessary to protect the pad and the rocket. Today we are talking about the new SpaceX Starship launch pad. All those who are new to our channel, we welcome you to our channel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming updates from the world of space. When you have more thrust, you potentially have more damage to the launch pad, but also more acoustics, sound that bounces off the ground that can actually damage the rocket. So larger water suppression systems are really used to get rid of the sound pressure, Platt said. It also means taller towers on the pads for loading and more on-site capacity to fill the larger fuel tanks on the rockets. As for the plans for the new Pad 49, there are challenges, especially the environmental impact process. We could see SpaceX shift some of the testing of Starship from its current home in Boca Chica, Texas, while we wait. Doing anything from Boca Chica essentially means that SpaceX has to not only certify their rocket but certify the launch facility as well. And for the most part, the Kennedy Space Center launch facility has already been certified pretty much for any type of rocket, Platt said. The company had previously started some work on a Starship-specific launch pad on the grounds of Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, which SpaceX leases from the agency to launch its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. But since builders have poured concrete for the foundation of the Starship pad in late 2019, the location has largely remained dormant. NASA, in a statement to CNBC, confirmed that SpaceX is within the rights of their lease agreement to make launch infrastructure improvements within the boundaries of the pad. The agency also confirmed that NASA is not providing funding for the Starship launch pad and deferred to SpaceX on the project's scope, cost, and timeline. The space agency performed an environmental assessment of the plan in 2019 and gave SpaceX permission to begin work within the LC-39A site, but the agency said that approval is only to build at this time, with authorization for launches and landing requiring a separate approval process. Tom Engler, the Director of Planning and Development at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, told CNBC that he thinks the SpaceX plan is really exciting. Before the company leases the complex, it was previously used to launch Saturn V rockets for Apollo missions as well as space shuttle missions. If you look at the history of the launch pad, this is probably right in line with how it was meant to be used, Engler said. To us, it's really just a kind of reaffirmation of the thought process of why that pad was built to begin with. When SpaceX began Starship development in earnest two years ago, the company started building rocket prototypes both nearby the NASA complex and its private facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Starship is a massive rocket that SpaceX is developing to eventually launch cargo and people to the moon and Mars. The rocket is designed to be reusable so SpaceX can launch and land it multiple times, like a commercial airplane. SpaceX is building three Starship rockets simultaneously. One is at its facility in Boca Chica, Texas, and two are at its facility in Cocoa in Florida. The company later pivoted to focus on work at the Boca Chica site, which is nicknamed Starbase and has since conducted Starship test flights and more from the Texas location. Last month, Musk said that SpaceX will hopefully launch the first startup prototype in orbit in January or February from Texas, the company's next major step in developing the rocket. The test is pending regulatory approval as SpaceX needs a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration for the mission, with the federal agency expecting to complete a key environmental assessment by the end of this year. Musk noted that he wasn't sure if Starship would successfully reach orbit on the first try, so emphasized that he is confident that the rocket will get to space in 2022. We intend to have a high flight rate next year, Musk said. SpaceX aims to launch as many as a dozen Starship test flights next year, he said, to complete the test flight program and move the launching real payloads in 2023. He stressed that creating a mass production line for Starship is crucial to the program's long-term goals noting that the current biggest constraint on rocket manufacturing is how fast the company can build the Raptor engines needed for the Starship. I think in order for life to become multiplanetary, we need maybe a thousand ships or something like that, Musk said. 
The overarching goal of SpaceX has been to advance space technology such that humanity can become a multi-planet species and ultimately a spacefaring civilization. Although SpaceX has a $2.9 billion contract from NASA to develop Starship from delivering astronauts to the moon's surface, Musk said that the company is not assuming any international collaboration or external funding for the rocket program. Starship is at least 90% internally funded thus far, Musk said. SpaceX has raised billions in funding over the past several years, both to fund Starship and its satellite internet project Starlink, with the company's valuation recently hitting $100 billion. Musk tweets on Friday marked the renewal of work on the Florida launch site for the Mammoth rocket as he pushes SpaceX to perform as many as a dozen Starship test flights next year. His construction announcement also comes as SpaceX works to resolve a crisis with production of the Raptor engines that power Starship rockets, which Musk disclosed in an email to employees the day after Thanksgiving. Elon Musk is angry with the lack of progress SpaceX has made in developing the Raptor engines that power its Starship rocket. He described a dire situation the day after Thanksgiving in a countrywide email, a copy of which was obtained by CNBC. The Raptor production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago, Musk wrote. We face genuine risk of bankruptcy if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year, Musk added later. Starship is the massive next-generation rocket SpaceX is developing to launch cargo and people on missions to the moon and Mars. The company is testing prototypes at a facility in southern Texas and has flown multiple short test flights. But to move to orbital launches, the rocket prototypes will need as many as 39 Raptor engines each, necessitating a sharp ramp in engine production. Musk's email to SpaceX employees provides more context to the significance of the departure of former vice president of propulsion Will Helsley, earlier this month. Helsley has been taken off Raptor development before he left, CNBC reported, with Musk noting in his email that the company's leadership has been digging into the program's problems since then and discovering the circumstances to be far more severe than Musk previously thought. SpaceX did not immediately respond to CNBC's request for comment. Helsley did not respond to CNBC's request for comment. The SpaceX founder and CEO's email was first reported by Space Explored, a subset of technology blog 9to5Mac. Musk's email described a dire situation, warning of a genuine risk of bankruptcy for SpaceX if the company is not flying Starship rockets regularly by the end of 2022. In a brief update earlier this week, Musk tweeted that issues with the Raptor engines are getting fixed, but did not provide more details on the problem or solutions. With this, we conclude today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any updates from the space world. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again.